New York City is very energy efficient because of the density of people that live here. And we're different than other cities because it's the buildings that contribute to CO2 in the air rather than transportation, 80, 20 buildings. Uh, what we're trying to do is to reduce emissions all over. Uh, at the traffic level, least importantly, I suppose, because it's only 20%, uh, we are trying to get more fuel efficient cars and trucks on the road. So we have taxi cabs that are gonna be all hybrid. Uh, we are trying to institute congestion pricing to get people to move from their own cars to mass transit. That would reduce truck pollution as well because the trucks would get stuck in less traffic less often, and that's good. In terms of buildings, you have to change the boilers and the air conditioners. You have to use less energy. If everybody would convert their incandescent light bulbs to compact fluorescent bulbs, the total amount of energy that we consume in our cities would be dramatically less. So it's all part of a thing. We're planting trees, we're greening roofs, uh, we're doing those kinds of things that uh, you can do locally. Some things, like new power plants, they aren't in our city. They've got to be done outside our city. Some things require federal legislation or state legislation. An awful lot we can do at the city level. Do you think that cities should take a lead in, in, in the Well, world? I don't think cities have any choice. Federal governments, at least our federal government, is uh, par uh, paralyzed by partisanship. Uh, they are afraid to do anything. When they do something, they set target dates so far into the future that uh, maybe our grandchildren might see it if they live to very old age. Uh, cities, you have to do things right now. Uh, they, we, we say we're going to do something. Tomorrow morning, the local press says, okay, show us whether it's done or not, or at least started. Um, cities have to fill in. And cities, remember, are where the people are, where um, the results of legislation or policies can be seen the next day. And looking into the future, where we're we heading towards Bali, what do you expect the world leaders to talk about? What would you like to see happen? Well, I'd like to see world leaders get together and agree that their individual countries will do things regardless of what other countries do. Because if we're sitting here and everybody says, well, I'll do it, but only if everybody else cooperates, you will never get it done. The answer is do it, lead by example, and then people in these other countries are going to say, wait a second, these guys are doing it and their citizens are uh, healthier and living longer. I want that for me and for my children.